I have more to gain from you choosing TubeBuddy, but I still recommend vidIQ for most creators. TubeBuddy and vidIQ are both services that link to your YouTube channel and give creators tools to increase their productivity and search engine optimization, resulting in more views and more revenue. These services may be quite similar in mission, but after spending a lot of time on them, I realized that each one serves a sort of a different base of creators. I'm gonna compare the sites in four categories. User interface, available tools, tools, AI integration, and budget. In my opinion, vidIQ's website and YouTube extension kick the pants off of two buddies in terms of user experience and just general visual appeal. vidIQ's main webpage has a general overview of your channel and video ideas on the dashboard page, while you still have quick access to their best tools via a simple menu bar at the top. Each of these pages is very easy to navigate and quite simple. TubeBuddy's site, on the other hand, is very confusing to me. There's a lot of stuff going on, and it's all presented in a very harsh, dated, analytical way. There's even still some pages for tools that are discontinued and don't work anymore, and there's even, there's references to this star license that doesn't exist, doesn't exist anymore. As far as the website goes, vidIQ is modern and sleek, while TubeBuddy seems like it hasn't been updated since 2010. The YouTube extension on TubeBuddy is a little bit better, but not by much. TubeBuddy is built in as a sort of side menu to your main YouTube page, and any of the pop-up windows that come up when you select things still have that same dated, harsh, old feel as the website. vidIQ's upload tools feel much more integrated with YouTube, and any of their pop-up windows share that same sleek, clean appeal as their website does. Even small things like choice of colors and fonts and just overall general details make vidIQ far superior to TubeBuddy in this category. Moving on to tools, this is a big one. YouTube has their own analytics page with a bunch of tools that are actually pretty good now, but what I'm looking for in this category is tools that vidIQ and TubeBuddy supply to creators that YouTube doesn't already cover. Both services have a channel stats summary page to help you make sense of your YouTube analytics. vidIQ calls this the channel audit and TubeBuddy calls it the health report. TubeBuddy's health report is pretty bare bones. I mean, honestly, YouTube's regular analytics page dashboard gives you a better insight to your analytics than TubeBuddy. vidIQ, on the other hand, simplifies analytics in a much more accessible way, splitting your content stats into two categories, content to double down on and content that could use some work. This is a super quick and easy way to check out your content over the past period, see what's working and what's not, and why it might be working and why it might be failing. vidIQ and TubeBuddy both have YouTube tag tools that allow you to upload with better SEO in a much more efficient way, and you know, while tags don't really mean a whole lot on YouTube much nowadays, it's still nice to see. I do prefer vidIQ here as well, just because the user experience is a lot better, but effectively they do the same thing. Competitors can be tracked through both websites, but vidIQ is way ahead here because they not only allow you to add channels of your own, but also recommend channels in your niche to follow. And this can be, of course, a great source for competition, see what they're doing and kind of a one-up them, but but in a much more collaborative way, and something that I don't even know if this is what they were planning, but what I like to use it for, is this is a great place to find channels for potential collaborations, which is huge. TubeBuddy just kind of, it just follows the stats of your competitors. It's, it's not that impressive. By far the most important tool from these services when it comes to creating content with high view potential is the keyword research tool. When coming up with new video ideas, you can plug the keywords or the title of the video into both vidIQ or TubeBuddy, and they'll give you an optimization score based on internet traffic and how well videos like this have performed for your channel in the past. The weird thing is the scores are not super consistent between the two services. Sometimes a title gets a great score on vidIQ. IQ, but then ends up with a terrible score on TubeBuddy. After fiddling around with it a little bit, I've found that TubeBuddy is much more sensitive to the actual words and punctuation you use in your keywords or in your title, where vidIQ, I think they involve their AI with it a little bit to kind of give you a more general view of how this topic 
will perform. I do prefer and trust vidIQ more than TubeBuddy here, but they both work, and if you learn how to use TubeBuddy, it does the same sort of thing. Again, it's more of a user experience differential here. TubeBuddy does have one tool that vidIQ does not have at all, which is a video thumbnail A-B testing, where it'll automatically switch out your thumbnail or your title and test it with different audiences so you can see which one's more effective. This used to be a big deal, and it's pretty cool, However, I don't actually count it as any points against vidIQ because YouTube itself is going to be releasing their own AB um, thumbnail test thing that will be coming out over the next couple months, which will render TubeBuddy's AB testing completely obsolete. I know it seems that TubeBuddy does not keep up with vidIQ at all. And honestly, talking about AI isn't going to change any of that. It's really just kind of going to make it worse. But I promise that the next category, TubeBuddy is actually gonna come out on top of. TubeBuddy does have a few AI tools like title generation, uh, suggested shorts, and thumbnail analysis, but suggested shorts doesn't really work in my experience. VidIQ also has a title generation thing which basically completely negates that. And thumbnail analysis, in my opinion, isn't super useful. You can kind of figure out the same stuff by looking through your own YouTube analytics. Now we're going to talk about vidIQ. vidIQ uses AI to analyze your video while you're uploading it, and it gives you a checklist of things to properly utilize SEO. The analysis here isn't always perfect, but it's just a great reminder of the best practices that you need to go through to make a successful video. It's on vidIQ's website, though, that their AI really starts to take off. When you link your YouTube channel to vidIQ, their AI automatically analyzes all of your content, your channel niche, everything, and provides you with a bunch of video ideas based off of what type of content that you create, as well as internet traffic. Now, these ideas are not always the best in the world. Sometimes they're very AI-y, but they do serve as a decent starting point if you're kind of going through creative burnout. There's also an AI content generator that will take entire video topic ideas and create a whole video about it, short of actually creating the video. So it will do the title, the description, the thumbnail, the tags. It'll even make a script for you and give you an AI voiceover. If you're a YouTube automation person, this is 100% your dream come true. Most importantly, vidIQ links your YouTube channel with ChatGPT to create create an online coach that can help you brainstorm video topics, SEO your videos, learn how to create better content, generate descriptions, tags, and more. This is basically a ChatGPT bot trained specifically on your YouTube channel, which means it'll provide the best assistance to you specifically, and it's, it's amazing. TubeBuddy has none of this. However, TubeBuddy is cheaper. Currently, TubeBuddy is on sale for $3.75 per month for the Pro Plan and $16.50 per month for the Legend Plan. vidIQ comes in at $5 a month for the Pro Plan and $24.50 per month for a one-channel boost plan. Bottom line, TubeBuddy is the budget option here. If you just want the keyword research tools and tag tools, then go for TubeBuddy Pro. However, if you want a better user experience and a couple of more tools, and then I would say just pony up the extra dollar twenty-five per month and get vidIQ Pro. Uh, I would absolutely never recommend TubeBuddy Legend. I don't think it's worth it whatsoever. vidIQ Boost can be a great tool though, as long as you have the budget. This will give you access to all of their AI and analytics tools. And I also have a discount code down in the description that'll give you 50% off your first two months with Boost if you decide that that's a good investment for you. I'm gonna be real with you. I have absolutely every financial reason to recommend TubeBuddy over vidIQ because TubeBuddy has a better affiliate program, which basically means I would make more money by promoting TubeBuddy, but I'm not that kind of person, and I gotta be totally honest with you, vidIQ is better. It's the better product. You deserve to know that. Now, if you're thinking of getting vidIQ and you wanna know how I use their keyword research tool to make three viral videos in a row, check out this video over there and I'll show you how I did that.